show you one of my favorite drones, the Phantom 4. Now, some of you may remember my first drone I ever owned was the Phantom 1. So this is super exciting to see how in just a couple of years, how far this technology has come. So we'll start with the box. Star from box, I love this little latch to keep your drone nice and secure. And everything you need is right here inside. So we have the drone itself. Here's our little battery gauge. The battery just pops in and out nice and easily. And you'll see we have our 4K camera right here. And one thing really cool about this drone is the two little eyeballs that you can see here in the front. These are crazy because they have sense and avoid technology inside, which means that they can actually see something in front of it about a meter away, and they'll just hover a meter in front of it and won't fly into it, which is a great new feature all in the Phantom 4. And we have our controller, which you can operate with your DJI Go app and put your iPhone right here. And there you go, just two buttons, nice and simple, your return to home and your turn on button, as well as a few things back here that control the camera. And all of this fits into this tiny box, which is super awesome because I love to travel with my drone, and everything fits inside of here, nice and tiny, just like me. So let's go travel with this outside and see how it flies. The first feature I had to try was Sense and Avoid. Right now, I'm pointing the drone at full throttle towards the camera, and you can see it's sort of just hovering there. Now I'm flying in attitude mode, which holds the Phantom's altitude and level, but switches off satellite positioning, making it ideal for smooth filmmaking movements. There are also really cool modes like Tap Fly, where you can tap on the live view of your smartphone screen and it sends the drone in that direction, which is what I'm doing right here. And in this shot, I've switched it to active trap, so the Phantom 4 will recognize the subject and actually follow them. I roped my cameraman Hamilton into being my guinea pig. He's not wearing any type of GPS tracker here. The drone simply senses him and follows the same subject's movement.